Hey, welcome back everyone to another spooky, spooky, spooky playthrough of Vampire. Uh, I'm so excited to uh, keep playing this game and I've been thinking about it, dreaming about it. And uh, <laughs> now we get to play some more for a little bit. So uh, we need to pick up where we left off. We got to talk to the hospital benefactor. First, let me yoink some of that. Uh, oh, hello. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. Oh, I no. take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfield, oh, no. that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> the coronavirus now is coming on Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Oh my gosh, she's the vampire lady we saw earlier. All in it. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. He's not even looking at me. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. I the called lady that, who saved dude. Me that night. Called it. Before vanishing into thin air. You're a vamp. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce Damn, myself was easy. formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Lady Ashbury. Uh, Swansea so fancies vampires. Um, uh, I guess it's good to see you. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. <laughs> you must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Oh, so we definitely want to help her now. Yeah. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. Oh, I must shit. refuse his most recent demands. What do you want? Do you want to meet? What are your expectations? I don't Please want to hear more. Precise. I want to take him out. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Oh, I guess she has to continue. Please continue. Every detail Come on. is essential. I want to find him and kill I'm him. Your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Interesting. Yeah, I don't care. I'll take care I'll of take it. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should I start? I want to find him and hunt him and eat if him. If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing Harry about it. Jones. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Doctor. Time to Reed. repay her back. Ta I'm the favor sure she did of for your me. discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. Yeah, I'm gonna have when to kill someone. Resolved, I'm gonna have to kill I'll somebody. I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Right. Oh boy, we're an investigator now. And once again, this music is delightful. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Where are you, Harriet Tubman? Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. Shut up. What? What? What is this? <laughs> Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm. Madam, I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. 
Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Uh, shut up. <laughs> Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I definitely want to play this uh, duty. in the evil version. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a <laughs> chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Harriet Jones. Oh, better indeed. than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was it a case <laughs> of blackmail? Blackmail? I. Wait. You're investigating something. <laughs> this isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Uh oh. Uh. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation okay. into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? <laughs> Mrs. Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Slutty really? sores. Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your That's business, right, doctor, not mine. Where one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Uh -oh. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See uh -oh. you on the next round. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of people to find. What's this here? Uh, okay. Why are you lighting up? I don't know what I got out of that cabinet. Wasn't there someone else in this room? The Bad. patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. All right, let's go over here. Uh, Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that cadigan first. Oh, they're not outside. Okay, all right. Uh, it's just right over here. <gasps> I did. Small bottle. Half the fun of this game is getting all the loot. Who the hell is this person? How fast he is. Wait, did I lose her? There's. Oh, I think that's her. Her heart is beating like she needs me. Okay, all right, let's go back around again. Holy shit. She was in here? Oh, I could, oh. Beatrice? No? Oh, wait. Why is her heart beating so crazy? I want to talk to her. How is my son doing? Have you heard rumors of blackmail going on <laughs> in this hospital? I don't Dr. Know if she's... Reed, are you trying to take advantage of me? Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. I'm just curious. Well, go be curious somewhere else, please. Interesting. Oh, hint required. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? Dude, I, I have not had a the good... utmost reservations <laughs> about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's oh. bothering Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first Jeez. impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. 
And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief. Okay. It wasn't cheap. Interesting. She charged you for a bed? Yes. And I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Does her hair look weird? I feel like her hair looks weird. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Not much to say. I don't care about, uh, I don't care about you. Uh, oh, there's another hint. Hold on. What can and I do you need to ask? Not much. Uh, are you that I'm rich? really that rich. Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes, thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. He killed her husband. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. That give me a hint? No. Okay. Uh. Okay. I wonder how I can get these other questions. Interesting. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I don't. I wasn't even supposed to talk to her, but her heartbeat was going crazy. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with. Shut up. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. Have you heard rumors about blackmail in this hospital? No. <laughs> no. Tell me about yours. I don't want to talk. Bitch. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful, I'd rather not talk. talk <laughs> I healed you. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. <laughs> then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, oh. maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Interesting. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She go all the way to hell and back to help me. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. <laughs> but you have no idea what my mother is capable of. Bombs, am I right? She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Damn. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox. But rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Interesting. This game just got a hole. Did I ask that one already? Tell me about it. I don't want to. Okay, I did. This I game just go. got a whole nother level. Doctor. I wonder if I can ask her that last question Good evening, now. Doc. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, never Good mind then. <laughs> okay, we need to find nurse. Bitch. Oh, nurse bitch. So they have to be on the second level. That's why I can't find them down here. Idiot. I think I'm supposed to be in here, but uh, I'll take your shillings. Oh, he saw me take it. Oh, God. I can easily kill him. Like, uh -huh. it's locked. Lock. Okay, maybe they're on the third floor, or I'm definitely an idiot. I can't even go up there.
Okay, okay. I hear footsteps, like... Oh, wait. Hawkins. Hawkins, I need you. Don't you go away from me. Look how fast I am. Where'd she go? Hawkins? Hawkins? Ah, found her. How do I get over to you? I am the world's worst detective. Oh my god, she's over here. Excuse it's me. locked, all right. Hawkins. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. Good evening. I don't think we've been introduced yet. Oh, we about my to be. name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Pippa Dr. Hawkins. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Okay, let's, uh, should we go straight to it? Let's go straight to what it. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Could have said the truth. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. <laughs> oh my god. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Damn. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Interesting. Um uh... What can you tell me? Let me get Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we, that means we have to dig... We have to dig deep. Uh, let's ask a personal question. We can't ask a personal question, okay? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Get a grip. <laughs> hey, I know the answer to that Nurse one. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Coronavirus. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Coronavirus. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Oh, get a grip. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Okay, that didn't lead anywhere. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Damn. You'd be surprised, You'd be surprised dude. what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. That's right. In well, medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Oh, who is that? Can I ask? Okay. How is right. the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual. Oh, the ambulance driver. Especially concerning doctors. Uh, okay. Why is Milton so grumpy, grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. A new hint? Oh, yes. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Oh, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned, Milton is not the chatty type. I bet you he's a vamp. Okay, I got a hint, right? Where? Uh. What can you- Let me get- Where did that hint go? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. You guys are watching an episode of Dr. Vamp Detective. Uh, Milton, Milton, there he is. Details. Okay, oh, so we basically just unlocked that. Pippi is a part of his social circle. Pippi? Let me get in there where it's locked, Pippi. It's locked. How's everything locked and I can't find a key for anything? Okay, alright. So that's one down. Oh, someone's downstairs. I see that now. Wait, 
Gwyneth. Meet Gwyneth. Oh wait, is this Milton? Oh, it's Milton. Let's talk to Milton Good real evening, quick. Sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Wasn't he I'm drunk Amelia. earlier? I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt Jesus. introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. <laughs> He's not looking at me. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, dude, I can get some guns from him. Uh, here we go. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Jesus. Milton. Nobody knows the horrors of going to scare me every time. Here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Damn. Uh Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the this hospital? There are a lot of secrets around here. I'm not surprised someone tried to make money from them. What kind of secrets? I'm not in the gossip business, Dr. Reed. If you want to know more, you better talk to Harriet Jones. She's the oldest patient here. Or we talk to Harriet Jones. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members Probably willing to bit. steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect them. How is that life. even legal? So what do you do exactly in this hospital? <laughs> Apart from <laughs> smuggling guns. I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Okay. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left Ooh. an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want. <laughs> but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Interesting. Yeah, this game is so fucking detailed, dude. Uh, okay, so new citizens available. Okay. Gotcha. So that's a local investigation. Okay. Thank you, Milton Hooks. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Damn. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking <laughs> awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. I like this guy. Okay, uh, well then, um... I'd like to see your goods. <laughs> Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable <laughs> gun is what everybody needs these days. All right, let's go. Let's get some action. I want to find... Uh, I want to do that... Uh, side quest. Oh, okay, got it. All right, let's go. Get, let's get into some action. I want to go to the backyard garden. Trying to, trying to fuck up some people, dude. Okay. Where am I going? Thieves, every last one of them. Jesus, she scared the shit out of me. Oh, hey, let me get that. Let me get that. No, I didn't want to talk to Good you. Good evening, sir. Unless you're here to fix my... F I'm Dr. Reed. You guessed right, Doc. I don't care. Actually, I can Have ask you him. heard rumors? If you want to know what... Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. I don't want to talk to you. I want the money right here. Thank you. All right. Yeah. 
Let's get that wallet back. Where is it? Hello? Hello? I said hello. I said hello. You there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Excuse me, excuse me. That was not very nice. Not very nice at all. I ought to fuck you up for that. Alright. Where's his wallet? Hey, I found a photograph. So, Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Oh, ho, ho, ho. those two have hidden their affections well. Yes. Yolch. Hey, you see me slay those vamps? Those are the same ones I slayed earlier, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna teach him his boss. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Okay, I went to the wrong place. Let's try to go back to the right place, shall we? There we go. Look for old Milton, eh? I got I got resources out the wazoo. All right, old boy Milton, where you at? I'll do my vampire voice on you. Yeah. Good evening, Good evening Doctor. Back to Still where we were. To save lives. Uh, personal question. Okay, I found your wallet. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money. And and so a <laughs> well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Interesting. I got some more shillings. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of Damn. all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Uh, you both could get fired. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Okay, all right. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Damn, there's so many hints. What else is with this guy, man? Goodbye, Milton. Okay, so now I need to go talk to Pippi. Investigation succeeded. Dude, I am a vampire doctor investigator killer machine. Uh, where was Pippi at? Those sounds are scary. I think Pippi was over here. Hey, come here, Pippi. Good evening, Nessie. Need to talk to you again about Dr. something. Ah, uh, uh, what can you tell me about the strange man? Let me guess. Oh no, I already asked for that one. Okay. Oh. Yes. Here we go. I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. 
Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. Damn. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. Not the finest That's bloke. That's any of us can hope for nowadays. Interesting. And still nothing else. Goodbye, Nas. Ah, man. Uh, where are we at on time? Let's find one more person. Hey, you. You at the face. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has hey, already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. <laughs> All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Cool, shut up. Uh, let's get right to the point, Have shall we? Have seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Okay. Uh, what about Do this? Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Damn it. She's a tough one to crack. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Okay, uh... Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Damn it. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Uh -oh. Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill Inappropriate? Of a Oh, uh, let's get right to the Nurse point. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No, I may disagree with some <laughs> conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Anyone that stands is out? Okay, let's try that. Out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Okay, interesting. Did I suck at investigating? This reminds me of uh, L.A. Noir. if you've ever played that game. Terrible. Uh... Have you seen... I've never... Okay. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Damn, dude, there's a lot to this game. I, I've said that a lot. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, what time we got? Um, we could do one more quick chat. Go downstairs. How do I get downstairs? I don't think I've ever been downstairs. I'm sorry you ended up. Oh, I'm going back to the spooky place. Oh, 
Why is she so far away? Damn. Where the hell is she? Oh, I can't. Can't walk over those bags. Oh, I heard. I saw a mobster. Did you see that? I didn't see that. Oh, eavesdrop. Press V to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart rate will emit a distinctive glow. Look for Dorothy Crane. Okay. You're sure you don't come back with me. Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. That's the mysterious Be man. Careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck. Wait, is that the main like lady? Hospitals, all doctors. Well then, no. when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Damn, I didn't know a vampire could see in cinematic view. That's amazing. Oh, shit. Damn it, I was going to end it here. I got to keep going. Where did she go? All right, all right. We got to go. We got to go. We got to do this. We got to go to the sewers, boys. Oh, man. I was supposed to... <laughs> Uh, I was supposed to end it there. We're at like 40 minutes. This won't be 45. How about that? How about that? Let's find him and kill him quick. Hear that? He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. Why can't he breathe? He's got coronavirus. Dude, this is about to get real. Oh shit, he just got eaten. He just got eaten. I don't care, I'm looking for shillings. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. <laughs> Wait, is he back here? Where is he? Like, my headphones are like showing him to the right, which doesn't make sense. Headphones are showing him. Uh, here, I'm hearing him. Why are you focusing? Oh, dude. I hate the auto. I need to change that later. Jump up there? I can't jump up there. Okay. Alright. Come on down. I'm waiting for you. Are you hiding? You gotta be kidding me. I can't jump up there. <laughs> okay. Well, you're you're done. Okay, there's a guy. I'm coming back for him. Oh, this guy's fast. He doesn't like the gun. That's funny. Got him. Oh, I got a new gun. All right. Uh, I need to change my weapon. Yeah, let's go to the Dragon Bane. Oh, this guy is still up there. I thought I killed him. Shut up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dragon Bane way better. I came this way? Yeah, yeah. I knew that, don't tell me. And there's something else up here. OCD, OCD. Yes, give me some shotgun shells. Hmm. 
Hello? Hello? <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Sir, it sounds like you're reading a script. I don't appreciate it. Bruh, Dragon Bane. Am I supposed to go this way? Hey, what's up, dude? There was something back this way. Let me double check. Make sure something specific. Oh, I'm going the right way. I knew my headphones were telling me. Thank you, headphones. Uh, citizen is endangered. Um, yeah, survive. The next night, go check on him. Okay, all right. I'm gonna save your ass. You there? I don't want to. Give me the blood. Give me the blood. Slice you both up. I slice you both up. Slice them both up. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Uh huh. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. My name is Doctor Investigator Vampire Doctor Surgeon. Hello? <laughs> yeah, you want to see the sky? Yeah, keep going. What you're saying? Are you saying. injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm <laughs> down Reed. first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good, Good. man. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. So I could kill him. It's only 350. Nah, I won't kill him. Not for 350. Not worth it. Although he is sitting here like an idiot, and that makes me want to kill him. I got hella points to spend too, dude. I can't breathe. I'm gonna die. I'm like, where's that coming from? All right. Good on me, Dr. Venture. Now we got some more people to save. Oh, that leads right outside right there. Okay, all right. I could leave. But I need to I need to retrieve the thug. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, this is about to be a boss fight. Oh fuck. Oh god, it's a boss what fight. What sort of creature is this? Oh god. <laughs> Oh god. Fuck him up, fuck him up. This is how we're gonna take care of him. We need our shoddy. All right, all right. Oh, oh fuck, I'm gonna die. Fuck. Back him in the corner. Back him in the corner. That's all we can do. Oh, what the fuck was that?
I'm about to die. No bullets left. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Bruh. Look at my health, dude. Oh my god. I didn't even realize I had serum left. Wow, dude. Here's what's left of him. Wow. Holy shit. If you're sick, if you have no money, wh whoever you are, where are you from, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no question asked. Just find Darius Patricia's house and present this coupon. Okay. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. Damn, dude. What Holy is shit. Going up to? I really must find her. That was intense. I really need to get better at fighting. <laughs> like, I. I got some issues there. <laughs> give me your. Give me, give me, give me, give me. He enjoys that. Also, that dude was level 9, and I'm level 8. Ooh, that was a close call. Also, that reminds me I need to make some new serums. <laughs> Holy god, that was amazing. <laughs> I ran out of bullets, too. Good thing I bought those bullets from Milton, dude. He saved my life. Thank you, Milton. You're a crazy son of a bitch. But I thank you nonetheless. Oh, well, that was definitely an eventful end for a crazy uh, <laughs> investigative beginning. That's for sure. Uh, this isn't my hometown, is it? No, this is not where I need to go. This is where I need to go. Damn, I'm far from home. What the fuck? I just let you guys out in the daytime? What the hell? I also have like special attacks that I forget about too. That's my bad. I need to remember to use those. Honey, I'm home. I just got destroyed by this big werewolf guy. Damn, dude. Alright, so I need to go to Whitechapel next episode. I got so much money, dude. I'm about to level up the shooters. Alright, boys. Boys. Let me fill my ammo. Boys. Boys. What an ending. What a what a crazy ending. Thanks so much for watching again. Hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Uh, we're going to try to, I mean, the goal is to try to finish this by the end of October for spooky October month, but we'll see what happens because this game is thick. Capital T, capital H, lowercase I, C, C. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you watched this far, what you thought about it. Maybe I could have done some things different. Who knows? Or you're just enjoying the series. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, I appreciate what all you guys do support the channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace